Hello everyone, myself Aruna, lecturer in Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I welcome all you to the session 4 in the unit Introduction to the Computers. In this session, we will have brief discussion on the topics, peripherals such as keyboard and the laser printer. Finally, we will have a look at different MCQs. Under that, the first topic is the peripheral. Peripheral is the general name or the generic term for the devices that is externally connected to the computer. That means, though the devices that are connected external to the computer, those devices we can call it as peripherals. The external devices of the computer system are the first one is the input device. The input devices such as keyboard, mouse, etc. Through these input devices, we can enter the data. The next type of peripheral is the output device. Through this output device, we can get the data or we can print the data through the printer. Okay. These uh, input devices and the output devices are connected external to the computer system. So, we can call this as peripherals of the computer. Under that, the first input device peripheral is the keyboard. This is the most common type of input device. Because manually the text type of data we can enter through the input device such as keyboard to the computer. Now we will see what is the arrangement of the different types of or the different groups of keys on the keyboard. Next we will see the working of the keyboard. The five different key groups that are arranged on the standard keyboard are the alphanumeric keys, modifier keys, functional keys, cursor movement keys and the specific purpose keys. This is the standard keyboard layout. In this standard keyboard layout, the top row is called as the function keys. These function keys are ranges from name are named from F1 to F12. These are all called as the function keys, and this is used to perform the specific functions. This will be assigned specific functions. The next set of keys are called as the alphabet keys. Different alphabets from A to Z have Okay, we can enter. Next type of keys are the special type of keys such as page up, page down, end, home, etc. Next type of keys are called as the alt keys or the shift keys or the control keys. This, this key is called as the enter key. Next to these keys are called as the arrows keys. Next to this, if you want to print the data or enter the data in the form of caps or uppercase or the lower case, we will use this case lock. This, this is called as the number pad, different type of numbers from 0 to 9 and different type of operator symbols are present on the number pad. This is the standard layout of the keyboard and different arrangement of different types or the key groups. Next, we will see the working of the keyboard. This keyboard consists of the electronic circuit. This electronic circuit performs three major functions that is it senses the key whenever the key is pressed that will be sensed and after sensing that key that will be encoded and that will be 
sent to the encoded format to the computer. These are the three different functions of the electronic circuit present inside the keyboard. Now we'll discuss in briefly about the keyboard working. Observe this picture. The different letters or the keys or the different types of keys are there in the keyboard. Keyboard. Okay. Whenever the user presses the key, by selecting the key, he will press the key. As soon as he press the key, that key has to be sensed and that has to be encoded and transferred to the further processing to the computer system. For this, the main responsible unit is the electronic circuit board present inside the keyboard and the small microprocessor present inside the keyboard. As soon as the user presses the key, on the metallic plate on the arrangements of key the control circuit board will senses that key it will be sensed then that key after sensing that key the corresponding letter or the digit or the special character that will be converted into the binary code. For example, if the user presses the letter called as T, that should be converted into the corresponding or the respective binary code. Or if the user presses the special character called as dot, that, that also should be converted into the special binary code. Or if the user presses the numbers, number other, such as 9. Okay. All these keys, whatever the user pressed key, that has to be converted into the respective binary code. That binary code code we can also call as the scan code. This, this scan code or the binary code as the name itself indicated binary code which is consist of zeros and ones. This binary code consist of 8 bits. 8 bits. Okay, this is scan code which is of 8 bits. That 8 bit corresponding at the respective binary code will be generated after pressing the key by the user. This corresponding 8 bit binary code will be stored temporarily in the buffer register present inside the keyboard circuit board then this 8 bit binary code of the scan code will be sent to the computer as a input data for further process further process then this electronic control circuitry board not only senses the pressed key but also it keeps track when the pros operator or the user releases the keys. The, the main part present or the circuit present inside the electronic or the keyboard circuitry is used to sense the key. And that sensed key will be converted into the 8 bit binary code or the scan code present inside the microprocessor, inside the keyboard's control circuitry board that will be stored in the buffer register.
temporarily and that will be sent as the input data to the computer for further processing. This is how the computer works. We will summarize once again how the computer works. As soon as the user presses the key, the electronic circuit board and the small microprocessor present inside the keyboard will senses that key. Senses that key then this keyboard controller after sensing that key that will be converted into the corresponding or the respective binary code or the scan code that will be stored in the buffer keyboard buffer this buffer may be of 8 bits it will store 8 bit scan code or the binary code and that will be sent to the computer through the system software such as the operating system to the cpu for further processing this is how the keyboard works the main part is the circuit board or the keyboard controller okay or the microprocessor present inside the keyboard controller that will convert into the 8 bit scan code that will be sent to the further process for the computer this is how the the input peripheral called as the keyboard works the next peripheral connected to the computer is called as the printer through the printer as we all know we can print the data under that the main example for the printer is the laser printer this laser printer looks like the xerox machine or this can also be called as the photocopy machine because it looks like the photocopy machine this laser printer used to print the text or the graphics with high resolution that means with the highest quality with the highest quality the text and the mm. images can be printed on the paper for this purpose nowadays laser printers can be used laser printers can be used these laser printers will be used for printing the data with a high quality that is with a high resolution. Next, we will discuss how this laser printer works. This is the internal structure of the laser printer. This is the external view. This looks like the photocopy machine. Here we will fed the paper. After printing the data, it will comes out this. This is the paper tray. We will fed the data. We will remove the tray and we will fed the data or the paper into that. Okay. After printing the data, the paper will come out through here. All the processing will be done inside the laser printer. Now we'll see how the laser printer works. The, this is the internal structure or the internal organization of the laser printer units. This is called as the paper tray. Here paper will fed to the printer for printing purposes. The paper will, we will give here, this will pass in this way. And this paper will be passed in the arrows shown in this direction. In this direction, the 
the paper will flow or move after printing the data the paper will comes out in this fashion now let us start with how the data will be printed on the paper the main part or the main component of the unit of the laser printer to print the highest quality of the text or the images on the paper is the main part is the photoreceptor drum we will call this drum as called as the photoreceptor drum this photoreceptor drum will move on the paper this will rotates as this rotates paper will move in this direction this photoreceptor drum on this photoreceptor drum laser beams has to be passed these different laser beams can be passed on to the photoreceptor drum by using the unit called as a laser scanning unit as the name itself indicates the laser scanning unit will produces the takes the light and it produces different rays or the beams of lasers that laser beams will be produced by the laser scanning unit that will be passed on to the mirror this is the mirror structure the mirror will reflects back those laser beams on to the photoreceptor drum the main usage of this laser unit is for producing the laser beams the mirror will be used for reflecting those laser beams on to the photoreceptor drum as soon as the laser beams passed or reflected on to the photoreceptor drum falls on to the photoreceptor drum the different dots are being created on the photoreceptor drum these dots are called as the charging electrodes laser beam is a mele biddit takshana photoreceptor drum mele biddit takshana different dots charging electrode called as the dots will be created on the photoreceptor drum these dots are points on the photoreceptor drum we can call it has the electrodes and these electrodes which will be of positively charged ಇದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಡಾಟ್ಸು ಅಥವಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತಲ್ವಾ ಫೋಟೋ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ ಮೇಲೆ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಈ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೀಸ್ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹಾವ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಡ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ಡ್ then this positively charged electrodes after creating this that dots are the points has to be printed has a text or the image on the paper the paper ilinda bandu illi move aagirutte illi move aagtiruvanta paper mele illi create aagiruvanta dots athava charged ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಅಥವಾ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದು ರೊಟೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರೋಂಗೆ ಇದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ ರೊಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್
फिक्सड ऑन टू द पेपर ये डॉट्स मत चार्जिंग इलेक्ट्रोड्स के बेरे कलर इरल ओके इनके आ कलर डॉट्स प्रिंट आगे पेपर मेले अंदर इट रिक्वयर्स द पौडर ऐसा द ब्लैक पौडर और इट मे बी द कलर्ड पौडर ब्लैक पौडर ओके दट पौडर इज प्रसेंट ब्लैक पौडर इज प्रसेंट इन द यूनिट कॉल एस द टोनर होपर दि टोनर होपर कंटेन द ब्लैक पौडर This black powder will be sprayed onto the photoreceptor drum through the roller called as the toner coated roller. Using this toner coated roller, the powder present inside the toner hopper will be sprinkled or sprayed onto the photoreceptor drum. has this drum rotates this points are the dots should attract this toner powder this toner powder which will be of negatively charged toner hopper powder ru negative ag charge agirutte charging electrodes are the dots are the points present on the photo receptor drum which will be of negative positively charged toner hopper powder negative charge agirutte charging electrodes or the dots of points so positive charge agirutte so both negatively charged and positively charged will attract each other attract each other thereby the dots or the points by using the toner powder which will be of negatively charged after attracting these two the precisely the image will be printed on the paper paper ru illinda mu aagtiruvanta paper ru paper mele ಈಸ್ ರೊಟೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಫೋಟೋ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ ರೊಟೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಈ ಚಾರ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಟೋನರ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ದ ಡಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ डेटा प्रिंट आगे अथवा इमेज प्रिंट आगते बै अट्राक्टिंग द टोनर पौडर विच विल बी ऑफ नेगटिवली चार्ज आलरे क्रियेटेड चारजिंग एलेक्ट्रोड्स विच इज ऑफ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज पेपर मेले प्रिंट आदमे दट पेपर हाज टू कम औट इन इन दिस डायरेक्शन दट शुड एक्सीट इन दिस वे दिस पेपर विल बी मूड आर sent in this direction by fixing different fuses ee paper ide direction alli move aagbeku anta control maadi move maadakke use maaduvanta units called as the fuses on these fuses with the help of these fuses the paper will move the paper will move in this direction as the paper moves with the same speed the photoreceptor drum also moves in the, on this photoreceptor drum charging electrodes will be created dots are the points this will be attracted by the toner powder which will be of negatively charged this will be after the words the data will be printed on the paper to create the dots laser beams will be reflected on to the photoreceptor drum this is how the laser printer works for producing or to printing high quality of data once again i will summarize how laser printer works paper will be passed through the fusers then photoreceptor drum will be rotating with a equal speed of the paper moment 
This is the main part of the laser printer. On this drum, laser beams produced by the laser unit will be reflected using the mirror. As soon as the laser reflected on to the beams on to the photoreceptor drum, positively charged electrodes will be created. The dots are the points will be created in the photoreceptor drum. These dots are the points will be attracted by the toner copper powder which will be of negatively charged. Both positive charge and the negative charge will be attracted. Then these dots are the points will be printed on the paper. On the paper, then the text and the images etc. will be created on the paper. After printing the data, the paper will come out in this mode. This is how the laser printer works. Till now, we have discussed the two different peripherals such as keyboard, input device such as the keyboard and the output device such as the laser printer. Next, we'll move on to the multiple choice questions that may appear in the quiz or in the activity. Under that, the first question is the the most common input device dash is used for manual data entry process. Recall the topics. The keyboard as we all know, keyboard is used to enter the data manually. That means the user manually will enter the data into the computer system through the most common input device such as the keyboard. So the answer is keyboard. Next question is the keyboard control electronic circuit performs three major functions. They may ask you what are the three major functions of the keyboard control circuitry. As we all know, the three major functions are sensing a key. After sensing the key, that has to be translated or encoded into the sensed key. And that encoded data has to be sent to the computer. So, the answer is sensing a key is the first function. Next function is encoding the sensed key. Third function is sending the encoded data to the computer. The next question is, the scan code is of how many bits? The scan code or the binary code, after converting into the corresponding code, which is of 8 bits, the scan code will be generated by the keyboard control circuitry after pressing the key, which is of 8 bits. So, the answer is B. Next question is, the laser printer provides the dash quality text and images. In the peripheral called as laser printer, we have discussed this laser printer produces or prints with a high quality. So, the answer is B. Next, last, next to the last question is, when laser strikes the surface of drum, it creates a dots of. The, as the laser strikes onto the drum, it creates the dots or the points of positive electrodes or the, with the positive charge. So, the answer is positive charge. Till now, we have discussed the different peripherals such as keyboard and its working and the laser printer and its working. Thank you.